Hello, welcome to Santuario Lunar, and this is the weekly tarot reading for September, the first week of September. September brings this energy of renewal, of changes. If you've been, if you've been following the Wheel of the Year, you know that this month we have Sabaz, Ostara in the Southern Hemisphere, and Maybon in the Northern Hemisphere. Both Sabaz represent these changes, renewal, while Ostara brings something like a rebirth, like something really good and new beginnings. Maybon brings something more collected, something more reserved, but it's also time to change. So in this first week, we have some cards here that suggest that we are going to face some challenges to understand what's really important, to understand what we really want, and to know that we are on the right track, although some doubt, some questions can appear, can emerge. Let's understand here. For the first card, we have the Princess of Pentacles in the past. So it suggests that everything we started, every project, every relationship, everything, all the, in all the areas, it's correct. We've been doing the right thing. We've been working correctly. We've been uh, paving the way the right way. So we are following everything the way it should be. But in the present, we have OER reversed. And OER reversed brings questions that are not necessarily true. If you are familiar with Jung, you know that the shadow and the self. So OER reversed is the shadow speaking. Our shadow side is trying to manipulate ourself, showing some questions. Uh, am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? Is this correct? Is this going to be okay? and all these types of things that we don't want to think about. And our self may understand this message, absorb them or not, or refuse. The thing is, this week we have to listen to this shadow, to our own shadow, and analyze what is important or not. The shadow is not necessarily telling the truth. So sometimes we have these types of thoughts and they are not necessarily what's happening. And this reading is clearly stating that we are doing the right thing. So although these feelings and questions may emerge during this week, they are not necessarily right. So we have to separate what is correct and not, understand our own potential and control this shadow side. So during this reading, we have also Yemaya reversed in the advice position with collaborates to this uh, conflict, to this thing of we are doing the right thing, but we are thinking we are not. Yemaya reversed indicates this opposition, imbalance, something that tries to disrupt things. But again, it's not necessarily true. The shadow aspect will be talking a lot during this week and we have just to listen and accept it, but not agree with it. It's complex. It's not something easy to do, but we have to. So this week is going to be a challenging week in this aspect. But by the end of the week, we have the Eight of Cups, which is good news. If you observe the Eight of Cups, you see a woman leaving the Eight of Cups behind. So she drank all the content in, that, in those cups, and now she's following her path. This indicates that this week we will have this conflict, we will have this opposition, we will have this the shadow saying something, but we are seeing other things. But we are going to learn things. And the lessons we are going to learn we are going to take them with us and leaving these questions, leaving these problems or these imaginary problems behind. So it's a week of learning. It's very important to listen to yourself, of course. You cannot deny what your mind is telling you. But it's, under, but it's important to understand that not every thought that may come during this week is actual. The shadow may try to deceive you somehow, because we all have these. And we have to understand ourselves, and the shadow is an aspect we have to accept. I'm not going to enter in all of this, but if you are curious about, look for some texts about Carl Jung and the, 
the structure of the mind according to him, and you see the self, animus, anima, and the shadow. This this week is the shadow's week. <laughs> but we have to learn the lessons, not to agree with it. That's the message in short. So if you like my work here and you missed me and you followed me some years ago, I'm trying to recover this channel to make some more videos again. So please, if you enjoy, give your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel in case you're not subscribed, leave a comment too, and share with other people who also like this type of content. And if you want a private title reading, you can find the link in the, in the comments. This month of September, I'm offering 15% discount for all the readings if you join my mailing list, which is, the link is also in the comments below. So if you're interested, just go there and subscribe your email. You are going to receive the details. Thank you so much and see you soon.